All right, so I am back, and today we are going to uh, do another rant of the week. And today um, we're going to talk about uh, uh, fans' projects um, by request. Uh, so, you know, fans' projects at one time, I, I think many people would agree with me on this, Fans Project is was the probably the best third party company, um, if not one of you know it'd be absolutely one of the best, um, easily the best. Like I mean, it was they were that that was it. Um, they were the third party company that we all are like, ooh, what's the next release? Uh, you know, coming from them, and even though that they were all. You know, their releases were all spaced pretty far apart, and they still are. Um, a lot of us were sitting there, you know, and we'd just be, like, waiting for the next one. Um, but now, it seems like their their figures just kind of essentially shelf warm on the, um, on the online retailers. Um, I mean, their Dinobots aren't... dogs playing with a bone <laughs> um it's essentially now they, they just shelf warm they just sit there and nobody seems to want to buy them and so so why is that um you know what is it about them that now they're not as sought after as they once were um i mean i remember i mean first off i remember their first issue of the um swindle and blast off for the um energon bruticus upgrade kit i remember that 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 those figures going for like to get the whole set i mean we're talking you know close to like third party combiner prices are now you know three four five hundred dollars you know they, it was insane Getting like the City Commander, for example, uh, upgrade kit that was at least a hundred dollars, and the Ultra Magnus was another hundred dollars. So you're looking at two hundred dollars for stuff like this. Um, it, it was in, insane. Um, you know, they they were you know releasing figures that hadn't been done yet. Um, they were, I, I think, the first full third party first third party company to do a full figure. Um, with the uh, blast off and swindle, um, that was way before most of the other companies even got started. So, and I mean, I remember, you know, sitting there refreshing Big Bad Toy Store page, waiting for um, what was it, Dead End? Yeah, Dead End and Wild Rider uh, to come out. Um, I, I remember they had announced that the pre-orders would be live at like 12 a.m. at some, some certain date. And I sat there like, refresh, refresh, refresh. And I know a lot of other people are sitting there doing the same thing. So that we could order them when they first showed up as pre-orders. So that we would be able to guarantee our copy of the figure. Um, and now, it, now it's like, oh, Fans Project is doing this. And it's like, oh, okay. I mean, look at their, uh, I think they call it Mad Law, um, the six switch figure. Uh, I mean, that thing just sits there. I mean, it was on clearance, like heavy clearance, like $20, $30 off, something like that for a while there. Um, and it just, it just sits there. Um, nobody seems to want it. So let's, let's, let's talk about, you know, you know, the highs of the company, like what they did right. And then, uh, you know. Talk about, you know, what's going on now that's making it so that they're not as sought after. Um, you know, this isn't like my other reviews where I talk about toy companies and I say, what the hell? Um, because the, I still think that they're a good company. They're just not doing anything that I'm interested in at the moment. Um, you know, so their first release was what the the cliff jumper upgrade kit. Uh, everybody wanted that. Goes go. It still goes for an insane amount of money. Um, 
And then after Cliff Jumper, there was City Commander um, and all the re colors of City Commander. Um, everybody was pretty happy about that one. Um, you know, fourth time it was amazing. Uh, I, I think that's one of the only like third party offerings that are actually on the mentioned on a um, TF Wiki page. The TF Wiki. Um, it was like down in like the notes, like, "Hey, we can't endorse this th these things, but this thing was pretty cool." Um, so it's like, <laughs> he's very happy with this bone. <laughs> um, so it's just kind of like, you know, what? what... <sighs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, it was a great, great set, and it kind of got us all into the possibility of third parties. Uh, then there was, um, then there was the uh, Bruticus upgrade kit, which was absolutely incredible. Um, it blew everything out of the water uh, at the time. And, you know, a lot of people really liked it. Um, I mean, I loved the thing. Uh, at, at the time, I definitely gave it a 10 out of 10. Um, now, Let's see. Then they did the Insecticons. Those things got highly sought after too. I mean, it it wasn't uncommon to see those things going for a hundred, you know, a hundred plus a piece. Um, you know, now you can pick them up for about fifty bucks a piece. Uh, part of that might be due to the uh, the knockoffs that came out. Um, sorry, the dog is distracting me. <laughs> um. So it's like, you know, uh, then, they, then they did the uh, Minasaur kit, uh, or set, and that, that took a lot longer than they said it was going to, to get out. Um, so that was by far one of the first issues um, with the company, I would say. <coughs> they, um, you know, saying that it's going to be... You know, said figure is going to be released in July and doesn't get out until October. It's like that is a huge downer uh, for anybody that's wanting to pick up, you know, something, anything. You know, to have it three or four or five, six months delayed, it's it kind of gets irritating. I mean, like the KFC tapes with the um, the Dino cassettes. You know, it's like you're sitting there. It's like what was it, ten month delay from when they said it was going to be out. So it's like, and, and I understand, you know, some people were saying like, oh, well, they, they had to redesign the thing and, you know, whatever. But it, it, at the end of the day, it's like, it's still a 10 month delay for tape. Um, you know, I could kind of understand, you know, something as complex as their motor master was, you know, being, being delayed so that they can kind of fine tune it a little bit, but they still didn't fine tune it enough. Um, so anyway. Moving on. Um, so what What else, you know, what else happened? Um, they did their, uh, oh, their, their combiner that was like a G1 style combiner. Um, and I know some people picked it up, but I think a lot of people were just kind of like, eh. You know, just, they didn't care. Uh, they did their, the, uh, warp. Warbots? What, what, is that what they were called? The um, Steel Core um, Springer. Springer, everyone was amazed with, and he went for insane prices. Assaulter, um, their broadside. I mean, that still goes for an insane prices. Um, amazing figure, too, um, for Chug Collection. Um, and then and I even remember when they said, oh, yeah, we're doing Dinobots. Everyone was like, oh, man, shit's about to get real. Fans Project's in the Dinobot game. Um, and now it's like kind of like, yeah, there's the Fans Project down. So you can get those two. So, so it's like what happened from when they were the best to, to now where they're, yeah, they're kind of there. Um and I think if they were to close up shop, not too many of us would really care too much. Uh, I mean, I, I know there would be some people that would be like, oh man, that really sucks, Fans Project is done. But it's like, I, I don't think a lot of us would be like, I mean, I know I wouldn't lose sleep over it. 
like I would like uh, if say DX9 said, "Oh yeah, we're we're closing shop." I'd be like, "Oh, that sucks." You know, even uh, um, or Unique Toys or MMC. Imagine if MMC were to announce, "Oh yeah, we're closing up shop." I mean, there would be a lot of people just devastated with it. So, while the figures, let's talk about the quality of the figures for a minute. Um, they've always been good with the quality of their figures, I think. Um, I know they had a few m slight misses with the Dinobots, um, with some fit and finishes that they didn't quite get done. I'm gonna let them go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guess he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so the quality of the figures, you know, like I said, it's like yeah, there was a few misses with the Dinobots, but for the most part, they were still pretty spot on. I thought. Um, I mean, they look good. Um, QC on them, you know, like I said, I mean, there were some loose joints, uh, issues holding weapons, you know, and that was that was a downer. But I think part of that was they're trying to rush to get them out. To compete with everybody else that was doing Dinobots at the time. Um, the big problem, though, is what they're, they're at three Dinobots. They haven't released one since about this time last year. Um, uh, when the, the swoop came out. So, you know, we've gotten three um, and some recolors, and it's like, that's it. That's all we've gotten. Um, and that, that was pretty disappointing that they haven't finished yet. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, it was, it was, it, the quality on the figures, I think overall was pretty decent. Um, before that, everything that they were putting out was just golden. I mean, the quality on it, I mean, look at Smart Robin. That figure's just perfect. Just about a perfect figure. Um... I mean, that's probably about as close as you're, we're going to see to, you know, Fans Project knocking one way out of the park again. Uh, everything else that they're doing now is just kind of like... Um, so the quality control, you know, like I said, it went down a little bit for the Dinobots, but overall, it's been pretty consistent across the board. Um, the designs, um, the Neo designs, um, that might be one of the aspects of you know, people kind of lose an interest in them. Um, because, you know, it's like, yeah, the Neo designs are cool, you know, and they were pretty big in their time. But I think what more people are looking for now is more cartoon accurate. I know there's still, there will always be people that want to get the, like, Neo design this, Neo design that. And, you know, I mean, that's just how it's always going to be. You know, some people just want to see good figures you know, be it G1 style or Neo. But I think as we're moving forward with this third party train, the Neo designs are starting to feel a little dated. Not to mention um, Chug, the Chug aspect. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, have moved their collection away from Chug and more into the MP. Now that you know, it's like, if it was just Takara doing MP, I wouldn't have bat an eye about switching over from Chug. But since we have all these other companies in that game, you know, Fans Toys, fan, um, Make Toys, uh, DX9, Unique Toys, MMC, um, I'm just kind of, Bad Cube, um, Generation Toys, Warbitron, um, here, uh, you know, companies like that, and, and, and the list goes on. You know, for some people, X Transbots, um, KFC, all of them have moved into the masterpiece game. And while I didn't think it was a good idea for all of them to move into the masterpiece game, like Make Toys, for example, um, I'm very happy that they did now. Um, some of the best figures that they've ever done, like hound here you know he he's just 
damn near perfect. Um, um, so yeah. Um, so I think the chug aspect is, is definitely hurting them. Um, because, it, because it's just, you know, there's not that much out there for chug these days. And people are, like I said, moving into either larger chug, which they don't fit into, um, or into MP. Because larger chug, you can, sometimes you can sneak in like an MP car into it, uh, and get away with it. Because MP cars and Orion look pretty okay together. Um, uh, you know, things like that. But the, um straight up chug where you're using classics prime and you're using classics megatron that is almost a deadline at this point um as far as i'm concerned it's just it, it, people are losing interest with it rapidly um and and also competition let's talk about the competition you know i i, I listed off a whole bunch of uh different companies there but also you know it Hasbro, for example, is competition to Fans Project now, um, with what Fans Project puts out. Um, you know, Hasbro, the, the Combiner Wars. I'm not a huge fan of the Combiner Wars, but I know a lot of people are. So there's no longer, like, the only way to have a good-looking Chug Bruticus is no longer, oh, either I have to get the Fans Project one or I get the uh, Hasbro Fall Cybertron one. Now there is a Chug, you know, Combiner Wars one. Um, same could be said about Minasaur. <laughs> um, you know, there's some upgrades to it that make it look decent. Um, multiple options on that. So it's like, there's that aspect. You know, there's, you know, their Dinobots, for example. Their Dinobots is a great example of, of them not fulfilling, you know... Not fulfilling what their competition is doing. Um, so, you know, they get three of the Dinobots done. They said that they're going to do six, but they got three done. Um, Planet X is, what, done now? Or just about to be done with their Dinobots and their chug scale? Um, and they, you can put those guys in larger chug if you want to. Um, so it's like, they're already done. Um, Toy World is done. So if you want, you know, Toy World Dinobots in like dino mode or robot mode there you go you're you're good to go g creations has already gotten three out uh, so they're and they're they're a really slow company um three in what a year and a half um same with fan fans project three in a year and a half but they 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 have a goal they're they're getting there you know fans toys is uh, about to release stomp so that gives them what one, two, three, four. Four out of five done. Uh, and the only one you're missing is MP Gr or is a new Grimlock. Uh, so it's like, there, there's a great example. It's just like they're not keeping up with the times. And, you know, it's just, it just it's, 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 it's interesting watching them. Um, the release dates is more than anything I'd say is probably going to kill their company. Um, if anything were to be the downfall of fans project, um, uh, you know, above, above their designs, above their, you know, playability, above their scale, um, it's going to be the release dates. Absolutely. The release dates. Um, I think that alone will like i said kill the company just sink it completely into the sea um it, it, it's just not gonna happen um it because like i said the dinobots they're you know they're not done with their dinobot set they're also working on headmasters they're not done with those you know we've seen teasers for some of their headmasters years ago you know at least over a year ago and we still haven't seen it complete um well like they just did Skull Cruncher, and people were like less than, less than thrilled with it. Um, and they also just really, or but they've, what was his name? Um, Eight Face. 
they've been showing teasers of Ape Face um, since 2014, I think. And it's still not out. You know, that right there is, is going to kill them. And, you know, it's like people people can be patient to a point. Um, you know, I'm, I'm patient to a point, too. But it's like, do, you know, okay, let's go to the Giga Power argument. Um, Gutter, I think, is, for me, superior to fans' projects or fans' toys um, offerings. Um, my hesitation on going all in with Giga Power is the releases. It's like in one year they got one figure done. Are we going to see more figures? Are we going to see the rest of this line complete? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, and the biggest draw to me for fans toys though is the fact that they've already got four in the bag. They're done with four of them. In, in G2 and Diaclone colors and everything. I mean, they're, they're, they're almost there. They're home stretch now for them. Um, whereas fans projects, it's like, are you going to do more? <laughs> you know, I mean, you keep saying you will, but it's, it's been so long since we got a Dinobot from you guys. Um, so I, I think the release dates are, are definitely going to hurt. It's like, like I said, um, do you want to hold out for the fans, fans project one, or do you want to get the Planet X Fall of Cybertron ones? Because they're done. Um, I'm pretty sure they're done. If they're, I, if they're missing one, then it, it's co coming out real soon anyway. Um, let's see, Swoop, Sludge, Slag, Snarl, and Grimlock. Yeah, they're out. They're done. Uh, I think they're going to do paddles, but I mean the the core five are done, so yeah, um, you know it's like so. There's your fall of Cybertron slash Neo designs. They're they're there. You know we we've got Toy World. They're done. Uh, I mean these other two companies are done with their Dinobots. They're not. And Fans Project went into this being the big, the bigger game. Like okay, they're the ones to beat, and everybody beat them. Um, they beat them all to the punch. So it's like. It, it, it gets to the point where it's like, are the Dinobots from Fans Project irrelevant now? I th I think so. Um, I enjoyed their Dinobots, don't get me wrong. But if I was still collecting Chug, uh, I'd be drawn more towards Toy World or Planet X just because of the fact that they're done. I mean, I don't have to sit here and wait. You know, I, I, I've got a friend that would... Um, you know, he, he he wouldn't hesitate on, you know, it's like if the Fans Project Dinos were perfect, he would have bought those and then bought the Planet X 2 to, fin to fill out the ranks. Um, and then, you know, replace them later on down the line. Uh, same, same with Toy World. It's like, okay, we're not done with Toy World, so I'm going to, you know, get these guys to fill in the ranks for these guys. Um, so it's like, I, I, I could see that. Um, but for me, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that route. I'd, I'd, I'd wait for one company to be done. But now that Planet X and Toy World are done, I just I just go with one of them. I wouldn't go with Fans Project because it's taking them forever. Same goes with the Headmasters. It's like okay, the Headmasters, you know, they're doing such a great job with them. Um, I, I hear the Crocs is isn't the best, but we'll get back to that um, in a second here. But you know, their Headmasters, like I said, it's taking them so long to release. But Toy World, Toy World's already got three, three in the bag, um, and those could be kind of fit into larger chugs slash an MP collection uh, for MP scale, not style, but at least for the scale. Um, uh, make toys with their Chrome Dome. You know, it's like okay, now we've got Masterpiece Headmasters, true Masterpiece Headmasters. So it's like, so is. Is this going to be, you know, am I, am I going to buy the Headmasters or am I going to wait and see if Make Toys makes more? Because I, we know that they're doing Hardhead next. So it's like, why, why, you know, why go with Fans Project when I can get the Masterpiece ones, you know, and, and, and go there. So it's like, and, and I know they were kind of like sister companies. So it's kind of sad to see, you know, one, <laughs> the sister company killing the, the oomph of the, the main company. Um, 
But are they even the main company anymore? I mean, Make Toys put out more stuff than Fans Project did last year, I think. Um, I think Fans Project got, what, five figures out? Four or five? And Make Toys got three Masterpiece ones. Um, Dystopia and part of... Yeah, the, they definitely got more out. Um, definitely. So yeah, um, so it's like, I don't know. Uh, now, but to, to also mention, it's like, like Crocs. Um, a lot of people were unsatisfied with Crocs, um, their skull cruncher. The real question one must ask themselves, I think, is, is Crocs not as good as previous Fans Project figures? Or are we all getting jaded by the other options that are available? And we're looking at Fans Project with bigger eyes. Uh, you know, closer looks. You know, it's like, it's like, there. Were, like I said, there was a time where their city commander was king. Or look, let's talk about their Bruticus. Um, you know, there was a time Bruticus was king of the castle. He was the be-all, end-all of combiners. Absolute, everyone needed to have this thing. It was just about a perfect figure. Everybody loved it. But now, if you look at that figure and you compare it to, say, the Combiner Wars Bruticus, Combiner Wars Bruticus might eke it out. Like, just barely be a little bit better. Just because, solely for the fact that it's a lot cheaper. The Fall Cybertron Bruticus, um, you know, came in all the different colors, and that was a lot of fun. Um, it wasn't the best of the combiners, but there were some upgrade kits that you can get and still be cheaper than the Fans Project ones. Um, and then you take it and you look at the Warbatron Bruticus, and you're sitting there like, what is Fans Project? And you know, it's like, what is that thing in comparison to the Warbatron? It's nothing. Um, I it, it, it mean, it doesn't compare it at all. The Warbatron one is just so much better on every single aspect. And, and then at one time, I would say they were close to being the same price as each other. So, so, you know, it's like, but are their designs going down in, you know, in quality or are they just staying the same? And everything around them is getting better. That's where I, that's my opinion, is that their designs are the same. Their their quality on their figures is about the same as it always has been. Um, they've changed nothing. And that is going to be a problem for them as well. Is because everybody else is moving on. They're, they're changing their designs. Make Toys, which used to do the same exact same things that Fans Project was doing is now doing things slightly different or completely different in the Masterpiece um, example. Um, they're changing with the times so that they can stay relevant. That's that's something you, everyone has to do. You cannot be the same th exact thing forever. You know, everyone's, everybody wishes that um, Hasbro would have stayed with um, the Chug line. And this is going to be a side rant here. Everybody wishes that Hasbro would have stayed with like the classic designs and stuff like that. Um, but they've changed since then. And, you know, made a few changes here and there. And some for the better, some for the worse. The repaints, definitely for the worse. Um, the fact that we're getting combiners again, that's that's a good thing. I, 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 I will still always argue that the fact that they did based an entire line on that was a good thing. Um even if they didn't pull it off very well. But, you know, certain aspects of the design qualities are, are so much better than the Classics line. Um, but, I mean, let's really stop and think about what came out of the Classics line. Um, we got Mirage, who was too thin for a lot of people. Um, you know, at the time, everybody loved him, but now it's like, eh, he's okay. You got uh, Hot Rod, um, which... You know, there's better versions of Hot Rod out there now. 
Um, you had a white Optimus Prime for Ultra Magnus. Uh, there's the leader class Optim Ultra Magnus, which is better. Um, there was uh, Voyager Jetfire, which now there's a leader class one that's better. There's undersized Seekers, um, the classic Seeker mold. Everybody loved them, but at the end of the day, they're, they're too small. Um, oversized Bumblebee, he was way too big. Same with Cliff Jumper. Um, Chug Prime, which is good. You had a Megatron as a Nerf gun. And uh, let's see, Astrotrain, which was too small. Grimlock, that was way too small. Um, I'm trying to think what else came out. Ramjet, which goes into the secret cl classic Seeker mold issue. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, it's like really, what all came out of that line that makes us all sit there and be like, man, I wish you, I wish they would do classics, you know, more like classics again. There really wasn't much from that line. And of that, if you're in chug scale, there's more options now. If you're larger chug scale, there's none of those are really worthwhile, except for maybe the Bumblebee. Um, and then if you're going to MP, they're, they're completely worthless. So it's like chug isn't what it used to be and i i think i mean let's look at the jet fire i mean i would trade my voyager jet fire for the leader class jet fire any day of the week because that was a better figure uh all around just looked better it felt better it played better it just was better um uh, so anyway um but you gotta change with the chat times is what i'm saying um, everything needs to, to continue to move. Make Toys has, you know, they, they moved into the city formers. You know, they're, they're, they've moved into Masterpiece so that they can do Masterpiece and they can do some Chug so that they can still appease some of the Chug fans. Uh, Planet X is, they're, they're, they're moving up uh, as well. They're doing more um, false Cybertron stuff, yes. But if you look at their Swoop and you look at their Grimlock, They've definitely improved as a company. You know, they, their quality went from, you know, I mean, it was a good figure, don't get me wrong, but it went from here, and now they're they're here. You know, fans fans toys, you know, they're they're moving on. You know, they're, yeah, they started doing Dinobots, but now they're putting out other things, you know, keep keep that blood flowing so you're not just sitting there waiting for one thing to get done. Um, unique toys, there's another great example. They started with um, their Chug um, Predaking. And they've moved way up, um, <coughs> especially when they splintered into DX9 as well. I mean, their, their stuff is amazing. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, so what are you guys' thoughts on Fans Project? Um, do you think that their, their style has gone down? Or do you think that they've stayed the same and it's just everything around them has gotten better? And, and they're and outshining them because of that. Um, do you think they need to make a change? Um, even if it's something like release more figures? <laughs> um, or, or move more into a masterpiece style? Uh, or scale at least? Or, or do you think the company's just going to fold? Because my, my money is on the company is going to fold. It's, it's not going to, it's not going to keep going because like I said, people are losing interest in their figures because it's taking too long to get the figures out. They're, they're chug, um, and people aren't buying chug as much as they used to. Um, and, and there's too much competition for what they're doing. Everything they do pretty much has competition now. And and that's, that's definitely got to hurt them. Uh, definitely got to hurt them. So, what are your guys' thoughts? What do you think? Um, are, are they going to make it? Are they going to lose it? Or, you know, uh, or, or what? You know, what do you think? Let me know. 